That was your good morning. <laughs> this thing is a pain in the butt. Uh huh. Pain in the big old butt. Right now I'm having 285 calories for breakfast. And it's not the ideal breakfast because I'm not putting any veggies in it this morning. But I don't care. I want eggs. I'm having turkey and cheese. <clears throat> Bootsy's out for some reason. Because pain and pepper aren't in here. Yeah, yeah, but, but she's never she out. She doesn't when... usually come out anyway. The only time she comes out is when she wants to be fed. She was out there when I got her the other day. She's being a silly girl. So what are you doing today? Well, I've got everything I need to get the um, edge trimmer working. So I've got to go get some gas, put that together, and clear those sprinkler heads so that I can actually get the sprinkler system working again. That's what I'm doing. That sounds like a plan, Stan. Alright, so I've actually managed to get time into the garage, and I got the gasoline that I needed, and I need to add oil to a gallon of gasoline. And a, it, what comes with the, the trimmer is one gallon's worth of oil. Um, it's two and a half ounces of ethanol shield. Um, so I'll just throw this in here and uh, shake it up and see if I can get this sucker running. So it's going to be weed whacker. That way I'm not going to get it confused. Okay, so it says to push the bowl, primer bowl, 10 times. Set it to A. Squeeze the whole, the, the trigger, which is this. And uh, pull the cord. trimmer. Now I've never used one before so I pulled out their trusty instructions and realized that they're pretty useless. The instructions for starting it after I put it together was um, is to flip this switch to A. Pump up the fuel 10 times. This is a first start. You don't have to do that after it's been uh, running for a little while. Hold this trigger down and pull. And I spent an hour doing that. Nothing was happening. Trying to call up the uh, helpline. Helpline's closed. So what I discovered is this is actually the choke, although it doesn't say. And it doesn't tell you anything in here about it. And there should be actually a, a position in the middle. And, and on uh, the instructions on a lot of these, it says that there's a click in the middle or there's a, a reading, but it's not because this is probably their bottom of the line, the cheap thing. 
And once I decided to put that right in the middle, it started right up. And then you let it go. That's it. Okay, so um, today I've been attempting to get try to bring my lawn back. Uh, back in December when I lost my job, probably the first thing I did was turn water off to the lawn because water is expensive here in California and it's becoming more expensive. And it's pretty brown. For some reason it's nice and green along this corner and it's brown along the other corner. I got a, a string trimmer to find the sprinkler heads. And uh, so I was able to trim the edge, which I'm really awful at, as you can see. But um, I cannot find the sprinkler heads, and the, probably the easiest way to do that is to just turn the water on and see what, where the water comes out. I'm going to go to Home Depot and get some of those uh, landscape flags, and I'm going to flag all of the uh, um, sprinkler heads. So as soon as it dries out a bit, I'll take the, the trimmer and um, I will trim it out so that I'm going to get full coverage. As you can see, there's gr great big green circles where the sprinkler heads are. I still can't find it in there. I'm down on my hands and knees and still can't find it. It's really buried. So um, again, we're trying to make the lawn look good for a possibility of having to uh, sell the house, which I, I'm hoping we don't have to do. But I want to make sure that uh, it, if we have to do it quickly, this house looks nice and people are going to want to buy it. Okay, so I just got back from Home Depot. Uh, the only way I'm gonna find these sprinkler heads if, is if I turn the sprinklers on and locate them. I bought all these flags, and I'm gonna turn them on manually one at a time. I've got like six of them here, really kind of grody and covered in spiders, but I'll survive. And um, we'll see how this works out. <sighs> figure out. There they are. Wow, there's a bunch of them. Okay, so I'm going to mark all those. Alright, so I've got I've got these all flagged now. So I just got to start the uh, next set of sprinklers. Figure out where they are. Are you going to jump? Good jump, Boomer! Gross! You're so gross! Quit sneezing on me! for you. Oh god, there are no more ears. Everyone calm down. Everyone calm down. We've got the ears. Okay. Now she can hear you. Okay. Now I can hear, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sit on backwards. See, see, look Lucy, I got ears like you. You got it on correctly. Nice. You got it on correctly. Yeah. <laughs> you got it on correctly. Uh -huh. Oh, it? Inside, inside out. Inside out. Uh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we have Jay and Angie here today. Angie's getting a tattoo. Some, some work done on the upper thigh. Ooh, getting all the black done. A lot of black today. Hello, next time. Is this your first tattoo? No, this is my 15th. 15th, huh? Yep. Yeah, she sent me tattoos to go in our tattoo video, which I'm going to be putting together someday this week if I can get my head working. Your head working. I've only got one tattoo. It's just, a big one, though. Just one. Just one. <laughs> one really big tattoo. That is still not finished. <laughs>
It's under construction. So it, it, is it a Joshua tree? Is yes, it, it is a Joshua tree. And it's going to be with mountains in the background. Sunset, and sunset. mountain, yep. Groovy man. I like that. Groovy man. Lucy wants to take a vacation. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, yeah. trying to say. Take your cat. Who's spoiled? Up, up here, who's spoiled? <laughs> We're filming in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> As opposed to a dead one. <laughs> okay, it's time for Neighborhood Community Shout Outs. Sorry about last night again, everybody. I had a pretty bad headache after I went through an MRI on my brain. And so far, the consensus is they still don't know if I have one. All right. I only have three shout-outs. And I don't know how to say this one. Uh, it looks like Leon Grobes. All right. Leon Grobes. Welcome to the neighborhood. Megan Van Gent. Vangent. Vangent. Megan Vangent. Welcome to the neighborhood. And Vlog Epicness. Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> now my question the other day was, what is your biggest pet peeve? We had some pretty good, interesting ones. Terry Johnson's was the most disgusting. She hates when people blow their nose at the table. Oh, at the table. But, worst one ever, she said she saw someone blow their nose in a cloth napkin at a restaurant and leave it on the table for the server. That is totally disgusting. That is disgusting. Ugh. Yes, I agree. Uh, we had shuffling feet, chewing with your mouth open, chewing with your mouth full, talking with your mouth full. Not chewing with your mouth full, talking with your mouth full. <laughs> Watch it over there, mister. Um, people chewing on ice. Um... What is what is your one of your biggest pet peeves? My biggest pet peeves is stoplights. I hate stoplights. You come up to a stoplight, you could be sitting there for five minutes with nobody in the intersection. I can't think of the biggest waste of gas. If they were able to time stoplights, we'd make we'd save billions of dollars. I get so tired of sitting and sitting and sitting at a stoplight. I would have to agree with Lena Neal. Um, one of my biggest pet peeves is littering. I cannot stand littering. Okay. Second <sighs> vote. <laughs> okay. Now my question for tonight is, what is your nighttime routine? So now, it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay, so yesterday's um, um, trivia was, uh, it was two days ago now. Uh, it's uh, April Fool's Day. Yes. The movie April Fool's Day 1986, we, we did it once before, but uh, the question I had uh, was, it had the, it, had a different ending originally. It was filmed and ready to go, but it, nobody liked it. And I want to know what, how did it originally end? Now, as you know, the original one had a zero body count. Absolutely nobody died in it. Um, but it, the original ending had um, Skip die. Don't hear a lot about it because apparently the footage is lost. There are stills from it, but uh, that's how it originally it ended. 
apparently they didn't like the ending. So three months later, they brought the main characters back who played uh, Nan and Muffy and reshot it, which is why they have completely different hairstyles. Well, I've never really noticed that. Either. So, tonight's, um, tonight's trivia is about 1958, The Blob, with Steve McQueen. How many people of you remember that one? Okay, my question is, who, who wrote uh, the theme song called The Blob? And who performed the theme song called The Blob? <laughs> there you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight, you guys. Make sure you go check out yesterday's, or Thursday's, Nibbling with the Neighbors. Kevin cooked! It was really, really good, so make sure you guys go and check that out. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all you out there. Thumbs are, we love you all. I almost forgot that. Love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other channels. 